Hello everyone, I'm alive. Technical issues. If you can see me clearly, give me a thumbs up in the chat box. Anyone from the audience, let me confirm if I'm clearly visible, audible. I will start the lecture ahead. Let me confirm. I guess it is working. Yes, it is working. So I welcome you all for today's session. I am Dr. Priyanka Sajdev here. And today I'm here to continue my series which I have started for CNS Pharmacology. So in Pharmacology, I'm teaching you the drugs acting on central nervous system. Till now we have completed three chapters in CNS. So we have completed alcohols, the methyl alcohol, the ethyl alcohol, their toxicity, their poisoning, everything. We have covered sedatives and hypnotics, that is barbiturates and benzodiazepines, the most important chapter which we have covered yesterday. And today in the morning, we have covered the third chapter that is anti-Parkinsonian drugs. So we have covered anti-Parkinson's drugs. The most important is levodopa, mechanism of action, adverse effect and other um, drugs which, have, which are useful for Parkinson's. I have taught you everything. Now it's time to start anti-epileptic drugs. So this is a class on anti-epileptic drugs, I guess. So everyone give me a thumbs up. Can I start this class? Anti-epileptic drugs. So as usual, before understanding the drugs acting on epilepsy, you should understand what is epilepsy. So that you will have a better understanding for the drugs acting for epilepsy. So what are epilepsy? What is epilepsy? What is epilepsy? Epilepsy is also known as seizures. Epilepsy is also known as seizures. So first you should understand what is seizures. What is epilepsy? Then only you can understand anti-epileptic drugs. Shall I start ahead? Shall I start ahead? Okay. Just a second. Okay. Got it. So let me teach you what is epilepsy. So the definition of epilepsy, epilepsy is a disorder of brain function. There is a problem in the brain function, which is characterized by periodic and unpredictable occurrence of the scissors. So patients have periodic scissors, but it is unpredictable. It can come any time. So it is paroxysmal disorder. It is not continuous. So there is an attack of epilepsy and there is an attack of epilepsy. And between the two attacks, the patient is absolutely normal. Like asthma, it comes in attack. At the time of attack, patient have seizures. Patient have seizures at the time of the attack of epilepsy. But between two attacks, the patient is absolutely normal. He don't have anything. It is not a disorder which is continuous. It comes in attacks. At the time, only the patient have disorder. Between two attacks, patient is normal. So such disorder is known as paroxysmal. The meaning of the paroxysmal is attacks. Any disease which comes in attacks. It is not continuous. It is discontinuous, which is separated by a normal uh, lifetime. So between two attacks, the time period is normal. So it is a paroxysmal cerebral dysarrhythmia. You can say that is the definition of scissors. Give me a thumbs up epilepsy. So you got it. What is epilepsy? So can I say epilepsy or the seizures are transient disturbance in the brain function. There is a transient. It is not permanent. It comes in attack. At the time of the attack, there is transient disturbance in the cerebral function. Due to what is the, what is the disturbance? Disturbance heck yeah. There is abnormal excessive temporary neuronal discharge. So excessive neuronal discharge. In the brain, we have neurons. Of course, the neurons do the discharge. The discharge of the neuron is excessive, but it is not permanent. It is temporary. Temporarily, transiently, it is excessive, leading to disturbance of sensation, disturbance of movement. So it is there is sensory disorder also, motor disorder also, behavioral disorder also, perceptional and consciousness. Sometimes there is loss of consciousness. So this is the actual definition of epilepsy or scissor, which is given in many books. And it is unpredictable. It is unpredictable. The episodes are unpredictable and their the frequency is highly variable. Sometimes patient can have, can have multiple episodes in one day. Sometimes the patient can have not even single episode in many years. So it is very highly variable frequency there. Give me a thumbs up. So what is the definition of scissor? Scissor is the transient disorder of the brain function in which the neurons of the brain do abnormal excessive temporarily excessive discharge. So there is Disturbance in the sensory, move, motor, behavioral, perception and con uh, consciousness. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Everyone. It is focal. It is not diffuse, complete cerebral. One of the focus in the brain is doing excessive discharge. Not the complete brain. It is a focal origin. It is having a focal origin. You should understand the various types of epilepsy before understanding its treatment. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Before understanding the treatment, you should understand the various types of epilepsy. So that I will give you the treatment of various types of epilepsy. Various drugs are there. So there are generalized scissors. There are partial scissors. So generalized scissors. The generalized scissors are of five types. What are the five types of generalized scissors? 
generalized tonic clonic scissors the most common most common one are generalized tonic clonic scissors the second are absent scissors which occur in children you know so ch the child have open eyes it is having a staring look and the child is lost it is not like uh, scissors may wo aisa sa movement nahi hoga the absent scissors it is looking the child is absent it is not present in this world he is thinking something else absent scissors the third is the atonic scissors the fourth is myoclonic scissors and fifth is infantile spasm so i'm not giving you the clinical features how to differentiate them between how clinically they differ from each other and what age they are common i'm not interested in all that that you all will study in medicine portion today in pharmacology i am interested in teaching you the mechanism of action of the various drugs which are active for these scissors so please learn the five names generalized tonic clonic scissors absent scissors atonic scissors myoclonic scissors and infantile spasm these are the five type of scissors which comes under generalized scissors after that partial scissors are there what are partial scissors partial scissors are of three types simple partial complex partial and simplest or uh, simple or complex partial along with secondary uh, along with uh, secondarily generalized it is secondarily generalized partial along with secondarily generalized so basically total eight type of scissors are there you can say you can classify them the scissors or epilepsy are classified in this way so there are generalized scissors there are partial scissors so generalized are five in number 1 2 3 4 5 and partial are three in number 1 2 3 so total eight scissors are there here it is generalized tonic clonic scissors absent scissors atonic scissors my myoclonic scissors and infantile spasm here simple complex simple or complex along with secondarily generalization so that is the classification of the scissors so now till now i guess what are scissors the definition is clear to you scissor is a focal disorder of the brain in which it is transient it is focal it is transient it is temporary it comes in attacks that's why it is paroxysmal so learn these terms it is focal disturbance in brain it is transient temporary disturbance in brain it comes in paroxysms paroxysma it is attack it comes in attack and between two attacks the patient is normal at the time of the attack there is excessive discharge from the neuron neuron fires too much excessive firing from the neuron that is leading to abnormal movements so there is sensory motor behavioral and multiple changes occurs at the time of the attack and this is the classification so till now the definition and the classification is clear to you i want thumbs up from everyone so that i can proceed to the drugs so i am giving you an overview a simple overview of the definition and the types i am not going in detail how to differentiate each of them clinically it is also very important so i can show you small small video clips i am having these eight video clips with me eight small small video clips are there um so i can launch each video clip not on the youtube but on the special class i can launch the video clip i can share my screen there so by sharing screen on the special class of an academy i can show you the eight video clips each of 30 or 40 seconds or 1 minute maximum so you can see in the video itself what is the symptoms of each of them and how to differentiate them clinically but currently i am not taking this lecture some other day i can show you these video clips to differentiate clinically how does the various types of scissors differ from each other and generalized definition of all of them is same i think every one of you got it so i should proceed ahead i should proceed to the drugs so today in pharmacology i am interested in teaching you the drugs drugs so the classification of the drugs is in front of you anti epileptic drugs right the classification is based on the chemical composition of the drugs i will read this classification but i will not suggest you to learn this classification why i will tell you another classification which you have to learn at your level right chemical composition classification is little bit difficult to learn how many categories we have let me count the categories 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 type of chemical categories are there so some of them are barbiturates the composition is barbituric acid most important drug is phenobarbital some of them are hadentoin hadentoin is a chemical name there are two drugs in this phenytoin and usi ka bada bhai phosphenytoin phenytoin phosphenytoin right there are deoxybarbiturate bhai ye barbiturate tha ye deoxybarbiturate hai it is primidone primidone so broadly broadly you should know ki phenobarbital comes in barbiturate category primidone comes in deoxybarbiturate category phenytoin phosphenytoin both of them are hadentoin hadentoin this is the name of the chemical they contain ye chemical ka naam hai right imi nostibin 
इट इज अ केमिकल नेम विच इज प्रेजेंट इन कार्बामाजेपिन और उसी का बड़ा भाई ऑक्स कार्बामाजेपिन कार्बामाजेपिन का बड़ा ब्रदर ऑक्स कार्बामाजेपिन सो बोथ ऑफ देम आर टुगेदर वन एंड द सेम थिंग राइट द नेक्स्ट इज सक्सिनेमाइड द नेम ऑफ द केमिकल इसके अंदर आ जाएगा इथो सक्सिमाइड नेम में ये सक्सिमाइड सक्सी सक्सी तो सक्सिनेमाइड इथो सक्सिनेमाइड सो दैट इज द नेम ऑफ द केमिकल राइट The next is benzodiazepine. ये barbiturates से ये benzodiazepine है. All zepam, 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 zepam. Clonazepam, diazepam, lorazepam, clobazepam. So zepams are there. These all are zepam, zepam, benzodiazepine. You get thumbs up. The next is aliphatic carboxylic acid. इसमें आ जाएगा valproate. Valproate, valproic acid और valproate. Valproate sodium. Valproate main drug here is valproate. The next is phenyl triazin. Phenyl Trizin, main drug here is lamotrigin. Trizin, trizin. So lamotrigin is the main drug, right? After that, cyclic GABA analogs. Is me GABA pentin and pre GABA. Yahan pe bhi GABA, yahan pe bhi GABA. So GABA pentin or pre GABA, both are brothers, right? Pre GABA, GABA pentin. Newer drugs. There are few newer drugs. Topiramate. Is me the most important which I am going to teach you here is topiramate, viga betrin, tiga gabin, <laughs> viga betrin, tiga betrin. Just that's it. Levi Tira Sika. This also I will teach you. So I'm going to teach you all these drugs, right? So there are 10 chemical formulas. Now at your level, it is difficult to learn the chemical composition with the group in that, with the drug in that. So you have to learn that. Broadly, broadly, you learn. So that is the 10 different classes we divide anti-epileptic drugs based on their chemical composition. Some of them are barbituric acid, some of them are benzodiazepine, some of them are hydantoin. So the formula and the names are in front of you. First, give me a thumbs up. I know the classification is difficult. I'm not asking you to learn this classification. I will tell you another classification based on mechanism of action. Okay. So based on mechanism of action, they are divided into four categories. There are four mechanism of action. There are, these are the four mechanism of action by which these drugs will treat the scissors. Some of these drugs act on the sodium channel and they cause sodium channel inactivation. Some of these drugs act on the chloride channel inside the GABA receptor. So they will cause the facilitation of the chloride channel. Some of these will act on the excitatory neurotransmission that is glutamate. And some of these will act on the calcium channel. So I will divide the drugs. There are five drugs under this, six drugs under this. So learn like this, learn this classification. So let me first explain you the four mechanism of action and along with how many drugs in this category. So I will summarize it in the end. Everyone give me a thumbs up. So this is the main classification which is given in your books. This classification of anti-epileptic drugs is based on the chemical composition. Learn this also and this is the main classification based on mechanism of action. There are four mechanisms of action. First, sodium channel, chloride channel, glutamate or excitatory neurotransmitter and calcium channel. What the drug will do with this channel and how it treat epilepsy. I will explain you crystal clear. Don't worry. Let me start the first mechanism. Sodium channel. Sodium channel. Sodium channel ka mechanism of action. Explain. So you can see the three mechanism of action. Uh, this one is not very important. The rest of the three are important. You can see here. So rest of the three are shown in this diagram. This is sodium channel. This is chloride channel. This is calcium channel. So some of the drugs are acting on sodium channel and treat epilepsy used in the treatment of epilepsy. Some of them are used in chloride channel of the GABA receptor and used in treatment of epilepsy. Some of them act on the calcium channel. So I will read the name of the drugs. Not only this, I will give you mnemonics also. Give me some time. In the next 45 minutes, I will finish my lecture. I will explain you all these four mechanisms of action. The drugs under each mechanism of action, many mnemonics. So their side effects and uses everything. In the next 45 minutes, you will be expert on epilepsy. You will know everything about epilepsy. The various types of epilepsy, definition of epilepsy, the various drugs, classification, mechanism of action, uses, adverse effects, everything. Give me a thumbs up. Shall I start my lecture? Okay. So I will teach you the four mechanism of action. Let me see if I can see your chat. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a second only, not a minute. Yes, I can see your chat. What Sakshi you are asking in university, which classification we should write? Sakshi, in university, you should write this classification. If in a university exam, this question is coming, classify antipeliptic drugs. So this classification, which I'm going to tell you now, based on mechanism of action that you should write. So based on mechanism of action, we divide it into under four categories. These are the three categories shown here. Fourth, also you can add here GABA, uh, glutamate receptor glutamate receptor and you can write the name of the drugs under each category. So this classification I prefer you to learn 
for all. Chemical composition broadly, broadly only have a look on this classification. Don't do ratification for this. It is not important. Learn this one. Anyways, let me start the first mechanism of action. Sodium channel. First, let's understand what is normal sodium channel. Normally, how does sodium channel present in me, in you, everyone? How does it causes epilepsy? First, understand how does it causes epilepsy. Then, understand mechanism of action of the drugs. How these drugs causes the treatment of epilepsy by acting on the sodium channel. So, I will teach you three things one by one. Okay. Let me start with normal. Let me start with normal. Normally, sodium channel have three phases. Sodium channels are present on the neurons in the brain. This is a neuron in the brain. This is the neuron. On the surface of the neuron, we have these sodium channels. This is sodium channel. So, normally, the sodium channels are in resting phase on the neuron. They become activated. When they become activated, they open. They open. They open and at the time of opening, they fire. Because they are activated, so they fire and they are open. Sodium will move inside the channel. After that, it becomes inactivated. In inactivated, they are still open. They are still open, but they will not work. The sodium will not move inside them. They are still open, but it is inactivated. And after that, it will come in resting. So, there are three phases. Resting, activated, inactivated that you should understand. You can see the sodium channel. You can see the three sodium channel. This is resting phase. This is active phase. This is inactive phase. This is inactive phase. You should understand. Let me explain you. Let me explain you. In the resting phase, you can see it is closed. This one is closed. The sodium channel is closed. Can you see? No sodium is coming in. It is closed. Here it is closed. Because it is in resting state. Here it is active. It become active. It opens. Can you see a space here? So sodium is coming in. Sodium is coming inside the neuron. Sodium is coming. It is open. It is open here. In inactive stage, it is still open. It is still open, but if it is still open, but no sodium can enter because it is inactive. It is still open, but sodium is not coming. Give me a thumbs up if you got the basic. Give me a thumbs up if you got the basic. Sakshi, uh, Masood, Osama, Arul, Samir, Lavanya. Everyone give me a thumbs up. You got it? Say yes or no. Just a second. Give me a minute. Just a second. I cannot see your chat because. Okay. Yeah. So this is the thing. Okay. So this is the three phases is there. Three phases. So you got what is resting stage? Yes, in resting stage, you got what, what is the what is the thing in resting stage? The sodium channel is, is closed. No sodium is coming inside. What is the active stage? The sodium channel is open and sodium is coming inside. But what is inactive? Inactive is the refractory. It is known as refractory stage during which the channel is open but it is in refractory for the stimulus. It is not taking the stimulus so no sodium is coming. Still it is open. It is open. So between the resting and active there is an active stage. You can see first there is act resting then it become active. It become active. It do not directly come to resting again. In between the resting and inactive there is inactive. Ye inactive beach mein aega. Ye inactive is sabse important hai for showing the mechanism of action. That's why I am I'm insisting on this inactive stage, which is refractory. So normally, when opening of the sodium channel takes place in the neuron, action potential is generated. Sodium will come in, they will open. Opening of the sodium channel is there, they will open. Sodium will come inside and action potential is generated. Right. After generating action potential, uh, the channel closes and it leads to inactivation. During inactivation, there is a refractory stage. It will not take the new stimulus. It is still open, but it will not take the new stimulus. So, when it is resting, then it is active, then it is inactive. And finally, after that, it will come in inactive. So, what happens during seizure? Seizure ke time kya hota hai? Seizure ke time, the neurons depolarize opening of the sodium channel and they fire action potential at a higher frequency. So, here you can see opening here, active stage is too much. Active stage increases. And here, during active stage, too much sodium enter and too much firing. And that leads to scissor. That's lead to scissor. If you want to treat the scissor, you have to stop the neuron to come in active stage of sodium channel. You got my point? Why scissors are taking place? Why scissors are taking place? Scissors are taking place during scissors. The neurons got depolarized and opening. The sodium channels are in open stage. They are in active stage. Too much active stage are there. For prolonged active stage, they are there. So, they fire too much action potential. During active stage, action potential is generated. So, so, action potential is very much. And that is causing the hyperactivity or scissor. Give me a thumbs up if you got my point. So, patient come in scissors. Because of excessive action potential. Because of excessive opening of the sodium channel, excessive active stage. If you want to treat 
the scissor you have to keep the sodium channel more and more in inactive stage for more time in inactive stage normally uh, it is periodic but just for say it is for one millisecond it is resting for the next one millisecond it is active and for the next one millisecond it is inactive and after that again it is coming and resting then again inactive then again active so it is a periodic thing one by one it shifts automatically right now during scissors is my active stage zada hai. and in the treatment you will hold the sodium channel in inactive stage so that scissors will be subsided that is the treatment so mechanism of action of anti-epileptic drug so the anti-epileptic drugs bind to the sodium channel in inactive stage, but it's still it is open. It is open, but it is inactive. It causes the prolongation of inactive stage, not resting stage, not active. So among the three stages, act, resting, active, and inactive. On which stage anti-epileptic is acting? Anti-epileptic kahan pe act karega? The anti-epileptic drug will come, bind with the sodium channel in this stage, and cause the prolongation of inactive stage not resting stage please there is a difference between the two it is causing prolongation of the inactive stage so neuron become refractory for the next impulse so your neuron will take the next impulse very late because of prolongation of inactive stage in the sodium channel because of anticonvulsant drug so it treats scissor because scissor is due to excessive firing Excessive action potential during active stage. So, agar inactive bad gaya, inactive ke time prolongation ho gaya, to refractory stage will increase. So, late it will come in resting stage and late it will come in active stage. So, prolongation will take place. Give me a thumbs up on this point if you got it. So, how many drugs act via this mechanism? So, listen, anticonvulsant drug bind with the sodium channel in inactive stage. It is not resting. Mind my words. It is inactive. There are three stages. Resting, active, inactive. So inactive is refractory. So it is binding with the inactive stage. But still it is open. So it is causing prolongation of inactive stage. So sodium is not able to come in the resting stage. Sodium channel do not able to come in the resting stage. After inactive it comes in resting. But it is coming in resting in late. During late. Because of the prolongation. Right. This inactivation makes them refractory to the next stimulus. Further activation is not possible. So, rate of recovery of sodium channel is reduced basically, right? And this is how the uh, they fire. The firing at the high frequency is limited and scissors are controlled. Give me a thumbs up. You got it? Everyone give me a thumbs up if you got this flow chart. Now, if you read directly from the book, any book, this is given in the form of the paragraph and you find the language very, very difficult. You sub kuch tumare bouncer jayega. But you see in the form of the flow chart, how does, how easy it becomes. Have you got it? Lavanya, Vijay, Osama, Arul, Raksha, everyone. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Right? All the students give me a thumbs up if you got it. So what is the function of anticonvulsant drug? You can see in this diagram also the first diagram. Everyone see. So in the first diagram, it is prolongation of the sodium channel inactive stage. So what is the name of the mechanism? Prolongation of inactive stage of the sodium channel. So it is prolonging the inactive. Usse kya hoga? More and more time for more and more time it will remain in inactive as i've told you it is periodic it is periodic just for suppose for one millisecond it is resting for the next one millisecond it is active and for the next one millisecond it is inactive and after that again it is coming in resting active inactive so this is the sequence constantly taking place in our brain but just suppose constantly in my brain this is the sequence takes place on the neuron in the sodium channel automatically it is, it is taking place but if just suppose I am having scissor. So at the time of the scissor, the active stage is more. So instead of 1 millisecond, it remains there for 5 or 10 millisecond. So there is more active stage. So more opening. So more sodium. So more action potential. So more firing. It leads to scissor. So this is happening in scissor. So what treatment we are offering to the patient? We are offering some drugs to the patient. That drugs will cause the prolongation of inactive stage. Inactive stage 1 millisecond ki jaga 100 millisecond hua. Now, the neuron once come in an active stage, it will remain in an active stage only for the next 100 milliseconds. It will not go to resting. It will delay. It will go to the resting. I am not saying it, it will never go. It will go, but the delay, there is a delay. There is a delay. So, resting may delay jayega, to active may be delay jayega. So, yaha pe bhi delay hooga. Yaha pe bhi delay hooga. If there is a delay, so scissors will be controlled. So, this is how we control scissors. Everyone give me a thumbs up. It is difficult to understand. Now, read the language. Now, somehow it will become easy for you. If you, if you got the concept, Give me an indication, give me a thumbs up or write that you got the concept.
So anti-convulsant drugs, I will tell you the list of the drugs. They bind with the sodium channel in inactive stage, not resting, not active. Out of the three, it is binding in inactive and causing the prolongation of an active stage. So that sodium channel is not able to come in resting. So there is a delay by the sodium channel to come back in the resting. Ab resting mein hi aara, so it is refractory for the next stimulus. Because it is in an active stage, it is refractory. Further activation is not possible. So rate of recovery of sodium channel is reduced. So basically what you are doing, you are stuck in the sodium channel in this stage. So that rate of recovery is reduced. You are not recovering. Rate of recovery is reduced. So seizures are controlled. Basically seizures are controlled in this mechanism. So how many drugs are there? You can see the list of the drugs here. Can you see? This is the list of the drug. This is the list of the drug acting by this mechanism. So how many drugs? So let me count. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six drugs act by this mechanism. What is the name of those drugs? Panitoin, Carbamazepin, Valproate, Lamotrigine, Topiramate and Zonisamide. Now these all belongs to different, different, different chemical uh, composition as we have started at the beginning of the lecture. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Can anyone of you help me with some mnemonic with these six drugs? P, C, V, L, T, Z. Can, can any of the students can make the mnemonic help me also and other students also? I don't have any mnemonic for that currently. So can any of you help me in making the mnemonic? Uh, if you have any mnemonic in your mind, you can write in the chat box. I will read it and tell other students also. So these are the six drugs. If you have any mnemonic, it's good. If you don't have, learn like this. So phanitoin, carbamazepin, valproid, lamotrigin, topiramate and zonisamide. So P, C, V, L, T, Z. So you can make some mnemonic. The words are very easy. The letters are very easy. If anyone have anything in the mind, they can write out in the chat to help others also. So there are six drugs that act by this mechanism. Act by this mechanism. Okay, let me move ahead. Let me move ahead. So we are done with the first mechanism of action. Let me come on the second mechanism of action. The second mechanism of action is GABA and the third is glutamate. I will take these two together one by one. What is GABA? What is glutamate? What is GABA? What is glutamate? In the brain, we have two type of neurotransmitters in the brain. We have GABA in our brain. GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. We have glutamate in our brain. Glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter. Both are equal and opposite. In the brain, in me, in you, we all have GABA. In me, in you, we all have glutamate. We have GABA and glutamate in our brain. We all have it. GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. And glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter. We all have a balance between the two. Whatever inhibitory I am having, the same excitatory I am having. So there is a big balance between the two. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. What happens during scissor? You yourself tell. What will happen during the scissor? Allow your common sense to work. What will happen during the scissor? Which will increase? GABA will increase or decrease or glutamate will increase or decrease? Scissors mein kya hota hai? Hyperactivity of the brain. Focal area ki hyperactivity hai. So inhibitory will decrease and excitatory will increase focally. So there is an imbalance. There is an imbalance. They are not balanced. Either the GABA is decreased, that is inhibitory neurotransmitter is decreased or excitatory, that is glutamate is increased. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up on this point if you got it. That leads to scissor. So this is the definition. During scissors, this is happening. During scissors, there is an imbalance between the excitatory or inhibitory. So imbalance me kya hoga? You want hyperactivity of the brain, right? In the scissor, there is a hyperactivity. There is tonic clonic scissors. Hyperactivity of focal area of the brain. So hyperactivity me the inhibitory neurotransmitter will decrease. You have to decrease the inhibitory one, that is GABA one. GABA decrease ho jayega. And you have to increase the excitatory one, that is glutamate one. You have to increase the excitatory one. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Everyone, yes, Srujana, you are absolutely right. Glutamate will increase and GABA will decrease. Yes, what about others? You got it. So what treatment you will offer to this patient? Now you tell me the treatment. Srujana, you tell me the treatment. During treatment, give some drug which increases GABA or give some drug which decreases glutamate. Yes or no? So these are the two next categories of the drug after sodium channel. After sodium channel, the next category, the drug which increase GABA, I will teach you. And after that, the third category, I will teach you the drugs which decrease glutamate. Right? So these are the two next categories you can see. The drugs which increase GABA, which decrease GABA, I'm sorry. And the drugs, uh, sorry, which increase GABA. And the drugs which decrease neuro, uh, glutamate, excitatory neurotransmitter, that is glutamate. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. So these are the next two categories. Let me start with GABA first. You got my point. So GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter. Normally there is a balance. There is a balance. 
but during seizures what happens during seizures you tell me during seizures either there is reduction in the inhibitory one that is GABA got reduced or there is enhancement in the excitatory one that is glutamate got increased during seizure this is the problem now if you want to treat this person the reduced GABA have to be increased and the increased glutamate again have to be reduced so that there will be balance you got my point don't learn these things you should know the basic basic ek hi hai GABA is inhibitory, glutamate is excitatory. If you know this basic, you can apply. You can apply. So, if basics are hai, to apply ki seizure ke time kya hoga? Or whatever is happening in seizure, we are doing the reverse to treat it. Right? So, seizure ke time, you can see at the time of the seizure, at the time of the seizure, GABA is decreasing. So, that the person has seizure. So, during treatment, we want to increase GABA. And glutamate is increasing during seizure. So, during treatment, we want to decrease glutamate. Give me a thumbs up. So, let me first teach you GABA. GABA ki kahani batate hain. So, normally as I have told you, okay, GABA. Let me start with GABA. So, how does GABA is synthesized? GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. How it is synthesized? See, this is a neuron. Can you see? This is the cell body of a neuron. See, I am drawing. Inside the cell body of the neuron, GABA is synthesized. So, see, GABA is synthesized from glutamate. Glutamate get converted to GABA. With the help of an enzyme, the name of the enzyme is GAD. GAD. What is the full form of GAD? Uh, okay, GAD, glutamate decarboxylase. So, this enzyme converts glutamate to GABA. Right. Ultimately, GABA, after synthesizing, it comes out of the neuron here. Here, it comes out of the neuron and it acts on its receptor. GABA receptor. So, there is a receptor for GABA. So, where is GABA receptor? This is the GABA receptor. Let me draw. This is a GABA receptor. The GABA receptor have five subunits, two alpha, two beta, one gamma. Two alpha, I will explain you, I will explain you. This is a GABA receptor. It is present on a cell membrane. Can you appreciate this is a cell membrane? This is the cell membrane of a neuron on which this receptor is present. Let me draw this receptor for you. This is the cell membrane on which this is the GABA receptor present. This is a GABA receptor. It is present on a cell membrane. This is a cell membrane, right? On the cell membrane, this is a GABA receptor. On GABA receptor, we have five subunits. So, there are two alpha. 2 beta. This is 1 beta. This is another beta. And there is 1 gamma. So, alpha, beta, alpha, gamma, beta. This is the sequence. Right? So, 2 alpha, 2 beta, 1 gamma. 5 subunits are there. This is GABA receptor. GABA receptor. GABA normally comes out of the neuron and acts on its receptor. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. You can see this is GABA. In this diagram, this is GABA. It is synthesized inside the neuron, come out, the, out of the neuron and it is acting on its receptor, the pentamer. Everyone give me a thumbs up. At the center of this receptor, there is a chloride channel. This is the chloride channel. Can you see? This one is the chloride channel. So, whenever GABA come, it binds with its receptor. It binds on beta subunit. Out of the five, it is binding on the beta. You can see this is binding here on the beta. In one of the beta, it is binding. So, when GABA binds with its receptor, chloride channel open. Chloride channel open and more and more chloride goes inside. More and more chloride goes inside, it causes inhibition of the brain. Because GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter, it causes hyperpolarization of the neuron and it causes inhibition. It causes inhibition. Hyperpolarization leads to inhibition. So that is normally taking place. You got my point. So GABA comes out, GABA binds with its receptor. Once the GABA binds with the receptor on the beta subunit, it opens the chloride channel. On opening the chloride channel, chloride will flow inside the neuron into the cell. More and more chloride causes hyperpolarization of the neuron and hyperpolarization leads to inhibition. This is normally I am telling you. Normally, what happens during seizure? You tell me seizures ke time kya hota hai? Seizures ke time GABA is reduced. As I have told you, this is reduced. So, GABA is not binding with its receptor. So, chloride channel are not opening. They are not opening. So, less chloride is moving inside the cell. So, it is not causing, causing hyperpolarization. It is causing depolarization. When chloride was moving, there was hyperpolarization and inhibition when chloride is not moving so less chloride inside the cell so chloride is not moving inside the cell just a second where is that diagram here so chloride is not moving inside the cell because there is less GABA <coughs> GABA is less so less GABA is coming no GABA is there or less GABA is there it is not binding with its receptor chloride channel is not opening so no chloride is going inside so it is causing depolarization of the cell <coughs> and depolarization leads to excitation and it leads to scissor give me a thumbs up so you got what happens normally you got what happens during scissor. Now you tell me the treatment. You tell me treatment kaise karengi. How anticonvulsant drugs will act on this receptor and cause the treatment of the epilepsy. Treatment of the scissors. You tell me the mechanism of action. So let me first teach you how many drugs are there in this category. In this category, we have six drugs. Again, six drugs. So barbiturates, benzodiazepines. The two BB, BB. The two VB. 
VV, Vigapentin and Valproid, the two VV and two GABA, Gabapentin, uh, sorry, Gabapentin and Tiagabin, Tiagabin. So, Gabapentin and Tiagabin. So, these are the six drugs acts via this mechanism. So, I will explain you all these six drugs one by one. How does they act on this receptor, the GABA receptor and they increase GABA. GABA is reduced, now. Nah? They increase the activity of GABA. How does? So, let me start with barbiturates. Let me start with barbiturates. Pahle mein barbiturates start karun. So, yesterday also, I guess those who have attended my sedative and hypnotic wala lecture, they already know the story. So, let me teach you barbiturates. Barbiturates act by two mechanisms. One is GABA facilitatory, one is GABA mimicry. I will explain you, don't worry. Initially, it looks ki mein bahut difficult hai, but at the end, you will find mein bahut easy hai. It's very super simple. See, this is the diagram. Everyone see, this is the diagram. Everyone. So, this is GABA. Normally, GABA comes, this is natural GABA. Natural GABA. It is coming out, binding with its receptor, opening the chloride channel. So, more and more chloride is going inside and causing the hyperpolarization, causing the inhibition. It causes inhibition, right? Now, we are giving a drug barbiturate. This is a tablet of barbiturate. This is a drug. This is a tablet of barbiturate. Barbiturate also act on the GABA receptor, but not at beta subunit. It is at the junction of alpha beta. It is, it is at the junction of alpha beta. It is coming. It is binding here at the junction of alpha beta. After binding, what does it is doing? It is facilitating. See this arrow. It is facilitating the natural GABA. Means natural GABA. Natural GABA ko facilitate kar raha hai. Normally natural GABA was coming, binding here and opening the chloride channel for one, one millisecond. So some chloride was going inside. But now when barbiturate is coming, the same GABA opening the same chloride channel instead of 1 millisecond for 10 millisecond. So it is increasing the time for which the chloride channel opens. That is, it is facilitating GABA to do its action. In Hindi, if I say that barbiturate is saying to GABA that I am sitting here, you do it. So why are you opening 1 second? Why are you opening 10 seconds? I am sitting here, I will help you. So it is helping GABA. It is not opening. Barbiturate itself is not opening the chloride channel. Barbiturate helping GABA to open the chloride channel. Wo usko de ki to aur kar. So that is known as GABA facilitatory action. So more opening of the chloride channel, more chloride will move inside for more time. Instead of 1 millisecond, it is opening for 10 millisecond. More chloride will go inside, more inhibition is there. More inhibition is there, so scissors will be treated. That is the treatment of scissors. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. You got my point. So that is known as GABA facilitatory action. Barbiturates are facilitating the natural GABA to do its own job more judiciously. So, barbiturate. Can you see? Barbiturate. It is coming, binding with the GABA receptor on alpha beta junction. On alpha beta junction. It increases the affinity of natural GABA for its own receptor. So, GABA ki hi apne hi receptor ke liye affinity bana dega. So, it increases the lifetime for the chloride channel opening. Initially, in absence of barbiturate, the chloride channel was opening for 1 millisecond for GABA, for GABA, when GABA was coming. But now with the same GABA, it is opening for 10 millisecond or more, 100 millisecond in presence of barbiturate. So it increases more flow of the chloride, more chloride will go inside the cell, more hyperpolarization, more inhibition, so that will cause the treatment of the scissor. In scissor, we want inhibition. So inhibition is there, more inhibition is there. That is the first action of barbiturate. This action is known as GABA facilitatory action. The second action is known as GABA mimetic action. GABA, you got my point, I guess. Okay. If you don't got, let me explain you. See, this is natural GABA. When natural GABA is coming, binding with its receptor, it is opening the chloride channel. In one second, one time it is opening. One per one. The frequency is one. Okay, not coming on the frequency. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is opening the chloride channel and chloride is going inside. Right. Now, you are giving a tablet of barbiturate. This is barbiturate. Barbiturate acts on the same receptor as that of GABA, but at alpha beta junction. So, here barbiturate is acting. Here, after acting on the receptor, barbiturate itself will open the chloride channel. GABA ko bulega, tu hat ter, tere bas ka nahi hai, mein kholta hao. To wo kholega. So, that is, it is mimicking the GABA. GABA. It is mimic, mimicking, mimicking the action for GABA. Normally, GABA opens the chloride channel. But now, barbiturate is saying, GABA, ke I will open it for you. You don't worry. I am there, I am your friend and I will open the chloride channel more better than you. For more, longer time than you. So, that is known as GABA mimetic. So, barbiturate does both. Barbiturates help natural GABA to open the chloride channel more. And barbiturate itself also open the chloride channel. The two actions are GABA facilitatory action and GABA mimetic action. I cannot super simplify than this. By both of these mechanisms, ultimately more and more chloride channel is opened. More and more chloride will go inside. More and more hyperpolarization 
more and more inhibition that will bring the treatment of the seizure seizure mein what do you want in seizure in seizure i want inhibition of the neuron seizure is the hyperactivity of the brain i want inhibition of the neuron so barbiturate cause inhibition of the hyper excited focus of the neuron by two mechanism gaba facilitatory gaba mimetic i want a confirmation that you got the two mechanisms you got the two mechanisms i want a confirmation so barbiturates are the drugs they go inside the brain inside the brain they go on the neurons on the neurons they go on gaba receptor they go on gaba receptor they bind on gaba receptor after binding on gaba receptor they will do two things one is gaba facilitatory action one is gaba mimetic action mimetic action in gaba facilitatory action they will increase the affinity of natural gaba for its own receptor they will not open the chloride channel they will ask the gaba to open it for more right in gaba mimetic action they themselves will open the chloride channel they will act on the chloride channel and they themselves will open so they are asking gaba also to open it more and they themselves are also opening the chloride channel so gaba facilitatory or gaba mimetic the ultimate theory is that because of both of them more chloride channel opening more chloride will enter inside the cell more hyperpolarization of the cell more inhibition of the neuron and that will lead to treatment of scissors that will lead to treatment of scissors that is the mechanism of action of by barbiturates have you got it lavanya vijay jayalakshmi arul raksha everyone yes okay i i think you got it let me teach you the second drug after barbiturates let me come on benzodiazepines benzodiazepines have only one action they have only gaba facilitatory action they don't have gaba mimetic action in short in short right so benzodiazepine benzodiazepines the benzodiazepines have only one action that is gaba facilitatory so here you can see the same diagram so this is natural gaba this is natural gaba can you see this one is the natural gaba yes you can see so you can see this is diazepam diazepam is benzodiazepine one of the benzo this is diazepam so you are giving a tablet of diazepam or benzodiazepine to a patient this diazepam or benzodiazepine is also going to gaba receptor the same pentamer but it is binding on alpha gamma junction the barbiturate was binding on alpha beta junction right and the natural gaba binds only on beta right so here the benzodiazepine is coming on this receptor it binds on alpha gamma junction after binding on alpha gamma junction you can see it is it is accentuating the action of natural gaba it is asking the natural gaba to yes or dam laga dam laga ke haisha aur acche se khol so here it is increasing not increasing the time of chloride channel like barbiturate benzodiazepine do not open the time for which chloride channel is opening what barbiturate was doing if the chloride channel was opening for 1 millisecond it is asking gaba to open it for 10 millisecond so that is the facilitatory action the barbiturate was providing to gaba but here benzodiazepine also provide a facilitatory action to gaba but not in terms of time time of opening of chloride channel is not increased like barbiturate here frequency of chloride channel opening is increased frequency what do you mean by frequency initially in 1 second the channel was opening one time that is 1 per 1 frequency is 1 time per second here now in the same 1 second the chloride channel will open for 10 times 10 times it is not increasing the time it is increasing the frequency so it is asking the gaba to open it for more times you are opening in 1 second you are opening for 1 so be fast why you are slow be fast and furious open it for 10 times in a second so that is the facilitatory action the benzodiazepine is offering the gaba so the gaba is opening the chloride channel for more times so more times more chloride will happen enter inside the cell more chloride will enter inside the cell more hyperpolarization more hyperpolarization more inhibition inhibition will lead to treatment give me a thumbs up so that is known as gaba facilitatory action offered by benzodiazepine benzodiazepine come go inside the blood go inside the brain go inside the neuron bind on gaba receptor on gaba receptor it bind on alpha gamma junction it increases the affinity of the natural gaba how does it increases it increases the frequency not the duration in contrast to barbiturate so more chloride will enter more hyperpolarization more inhibition that will offer treatment to the scissors give me a thumbs up everyone everyone does this overdose causes lethargy trujana so overdose causes lethargy overdose have many side effect you are asking for barbiturate or you are asking for benzodiazepine i guess the frequency wise you may be asking for uh, benzodiazepines right so yeah the overdose the overshooting can cause the lethargy so we will provide the appropriate doses to the patient so that is the mechanism of action you can see 
So you can see benzodiazepine have only facilitatory action, no mimetic action. But barbiturates have facilitatory as well as mimetic action. You got my point? So this is a GABA receptor. This is a GABA receptor present on the cell membrane of a cell. This is a cell membrane. This is a neuron. On the neuron, this is the GABA receptor. Right. Now you are giving, this is natural GABA. Normally natural GABA come, bind on the beta subunit here and opens the chloride channel. This is a chloride channel. It causes opening of the chloride channel. So chloride is coming in. After chloride coming inside the neuron, it causes hyperpolarization of the neuron. It leads to inhibition of the neuron. You want to increase this inhibition during scissor, at the time of the scissor. So you are providing two treatment. You are giving barbiturate, you are giving benzodiazepine. Barbiturate will come on this receptor inside the brain and act, act at alpha beta junction. Right. Benzodiazepine also come in the brain and act on the neuron, act on the, this receptor but on alpha gamma junction. Right. Barbiturate, after acting on alpha beta junction, it will do two things. Number one. It will ask the natural GABA, it will increase the affinity of natural GABA to do its job more judiciously. It increases the affinity. It increases the duration for which chloride channel open. Normally, it is opening for 1 millisecond, now it will open for 100 millisecond. So, more chloride will come inside, more hyperpolarization, more inhibition. That will offer the treatment. So, this is GABA facilitatory action. The second, the same barbiturate itself also open the chloride channel. So, that is known as GABA mimetic action. But benzodiazepines after coming inside, acting at the junction of alpha gamma, it does only GABA facilitatory action. It asks then it will not itself open. It will not open the chloride channel by itself. Like barbiturate, benzodiazepine do not open them itself, themselves. They will ask GABA only to open it for more frequency, more times. Not the duration is increased. Here duration was increased, here frequency is increased. So that is the best summary I can give you. It is written in front of you. Barbiturates have two actions, GABA facilitatory and GABA mimetic. Here, benzodiazepine have only one action, GABA facilitatory. Ultimate thing, they are doing the same job. They are increasing the chloride entry in the neuron. They are more chloride, more hyperpolarization, more inhibition. So, both of them offer treatment in the scissors. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Everyone. So, we are done with barbiturate. We are done with benzodiazepine. Both are increasing ultimately GABA. GABA. Either by GABA facilitatory or by GABA mimetic or both. So, ultimately, they are increasing GABA. Right, by various mechanisms. Let me come on Vigabatrin and Velproid. The two be together. In ka kya mechanism hai? They will also increase GABA but by some other mechanism. So, Valproate and Vigabatrin pe aa jata hai. Valproate and Vigabatrin kya karte hai? What does these two will do? So, you can see here, Valproate and Vigabatrin inhibit the enzyme GABA transaminase which degrade GABA. So, actually GABA is synthesized here. You see, this is a neuron which is synthesizing GABA. After synthesizing, GABA comes here in the space. This is the space. Can you see GABA is coming in the space? And this is the receptor for GABA, the pentamer. So, the GABA is present in the space. In the space, there is an enzyme GABA transaminase, which degrade GABA. So, these two, we are inhibiting that enzyme. So, GABA ka degradation ye kam kar to natural GABA ko bada hai. You got my point? I will draw this diagram for you. Okay. Okay, let me teach you the last one also, then I will. So, ultimately, they are increasing the concentration of natural GABA. So, more natural GABA, more inhibition. More chloride, more hyperpolarization, more inhibition. You got my point. So, they do not do GABA facilitatory or GABA mimetic action. They increase the concentration of natural GABA by decreasing its degradation. By inhibiting the enzyme which degrade GABA. That is V and V. Valproate and Vigabatrin. The last is Tigabin. The last one is the TT. Tigabin. What does Tigabin do? Tigabin inhibit another enzyme. That is, the, it inhibits gate 1. I will explain you what is gate 1. That is, these, these are the transporters responsible for reuptake of GABA. So, you reuptake ko kam karenge, again increasing the concentration. I will draw the diagram for you. Okay, listen. This is the neuron. Let me draw a neuron inside which GABA is synthesized. Let me draw another neuron. This is another neuron on the surface of which this pentamer is present. Let me draw a pentamer here. This is the GABA pentamer. And it is having five subunits. There are two alpha, 2 beta and 1 gamma. You can see the pentamer. It is a GABA receptor. Inside which this is the chloride channel. This is the chloride channel you can see. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Everyone. How does GABA synthesized? GABA is synthesized from glutamate get converted into GABA and this GABA after forming comes in the space here. This is the space. You can see GABA is coming in this space. Please understand it is difficult. This is GABA. Right. 
Now, GABA after coming in the space do three things. Number one, it binds with its receptor on the beta subunit and those after binding, it will open the chloride channel. More chloride will happen, more hyperpolarization and more inhibition. That is the first GABA will do its job. The second thing, the second thing, GABA here is degraded, degraded by an enzyme known as GABA transaminase. Transaminase, few percentage of GABA get degraded here. Few percentage of GABA get degraded here. Number three, there is a transporter. This transporter is known as gate one. Gate one. GABA ka reuptake ho jayega. Whatever GABA is coming here, it is reuptaked, reuptaked inside the same neuron. Inside the, and the next time it will come out. Next time it will come out. So in this space, just suppose 100 molecules of GABA are present. So 50 will act here on the receptor. 25 will be degraded and 25 will move back. Everyone give me a thumbs up if you got this basics. These are the basics you should know. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Everyone means everyone. So the first drug barbiturates I taught you. Barbiturates act on the receptor and do two things. GABA facilitatory and GABA mimetic. You know what does it mean? I am not explaining to you again. The second drug I have told you benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepine also act on this receptor and do only one thing GABA facilitatory. The third and fourth drug the two V's. V and V. The three, the, the, the two drugs V and V. They will act on this space. And they will inhibit the enzyme GABA transaminase. So GABA V and V will inhibit GABA transaminase. So they decrease the degradation. There is no one to degrade the GABA. So these 25 molecules they will not be degraded. So natural GABA will increase. Natural GABA will be more. So instead, in initially only 50 were acting on the receptor. Now 75 will act on the receptor. Because these 25 are not degraded. Because the enzyme which degrade them is inhibited by the double B. Valproate and Vigabetrin. Give me a thumbs up. The last category, Tia Batrin, the Tiga Batrin, the last one, Tiga Batrin, inhibit this transporter, the transporter gate one, so that there is no reuptake of GABA inside the neuron. So, ye purchase molecule bar gaya. Initially, 50 were acting, not 75 will act because these 25 will not go back inside the cell. Give me a thumbs up. So, ultimately, all these drugs are increasing GABA by various mechanisms. Give me a thumbs up. Everyone, give me a thumbs up. So, that is the mechanism of action of all these drugs. How many drugs are there? There are five or six drugs here are there, which I have told you the names. What is the name of the Tiagabin? So how many drugs you know here? GABA, GABA wale mein. How many drugs? You know benzodiazepines, you know barbiturates, you know valproate, you know vigabetrin, and you know Tiaga, Tiagabin. Everyone give me a thumbs up. So these five drugs, the mechanism is different. The mechanism is different. Barbiturate have GABA facilitatory, GABA mimetic action. Benzodiazepine have only GABA facilitatory action. Valproate and Vigabetrin increases the concentration of natural GABA by inhibiting the enzyme which degrade GABA. The name of the enzyme is GABA transaminase. Tiagabetrin again increases the concentration of the GABA by inhibiting the reuptake of the GABA in the neuron so that they cause the inhibition of a transporter, gate 1 transporter on the neuron. So that is the function. Ultimately, they all increases GABA. More GABA more chloride more chloride more hyperpolarization more hyperpolarization more inhibition that offers treatment that offers treatment for the sulfurs so these are the five drugs here Bahaki past drug my bhool gai yaha pe six drugs i have told you na so the six drug main here is spanitoin sodium channel main spanitoin carbamazepin aur kya kya thi i just forgot valproid yaha pe bhi tha valproid coming in both right so you have to learn the uh, lamotrizin tha ek Ek Z se kuch drug tha. So you have to learn the name of the drugs. So make some mnemonic and learn the which drugs are coming in which category. You have to learn it's your job. I have already explained you. Coming on the third thing. Instead of GABA, instead of trying to increase GABA, decrease glutamate. Na? Glutamate is the excitatory one. Excitatory one ko decrease kar do. Ya to inhibitory wala badha do. As I have told you, two neurotransmitters are there. GABA, which is inhibitory neurotransmitter. And glutamate which is excitatory neurotransmitter. Normally, there is a balance between the two. During scissors, inhibitory is decreased and excitatory is increased. That's why the patient has scissors. You want to treat scissors. You want to treat scissors. So, you increase the inhibitory one and you decrease the excitatory one. Till now, we were increasing GABA. We were increasing GABA by benzodiazepines, by barbiturates, by valproate, by vigabetrin, by tiagabin. So, these are the drugs which increases GABA. Let me teach you the drugs which decreases glutamate. So, let me come on the third mechanism which decreases glutamate. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Right. So, everyone give me a thumbs up. Let me start with the third 
that is decrease in excitatory neurotransmitters right the same story i have written gaba and glutamate now this time i am not increasing gaba no i am decreasing the glutamate i am decreasing the glutamate so normally glut not only glutamate there is one more neurotransmitter which is excitatory aspartate glutamate and aspartate are the two excitatory neurotransmitters in the brain what are their receptors gaba ka receptor is gaba receptor glutamate ka receptor is nmd or amp receptor so glutamate act on nmd or amp receptor and causes excitation this is normal during scissors they are acting too much so increased glutamate is there increased glutamate and increased aspartate causing the increased excitation of nmd and amp receptor so there is more excitation which leads to scissors you want to treat scissors you want to treat scissors by giving anti epileptic drugs you want to treat scissors anti epileptic drugs causes the inactivation of nmd receptor so there is no nmd receptor no amp receptor so gaba and uh, glutamate and aspartate cannot act so there is no excitation so there is inhibition so there is, there is control of scissor very easy only one drug act by this mechanism only one drug the name of the drug is felbamate the name of the drug is felbamate 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 is the name of the drug everyone give me a thumbs up the last one is the calcium channel the last one drugs acting on the calcium channel drugs acting on the calcium channel right what you are asking full form of bbvt so full form of barbiturate benzodiazepine two v's are there valproate vigabatrin and t is tiagabin these are the drugs let me show you here let me show you in the end okay these are the drugs which you are asking someone is asking these drugs now so this is the first mechanism by which they are acting this is the second mechanism so first mechanism me kon kon in the end i will tell you the mnemonics don't worry so the last mechanism the last mechanism is calcium channel the drugs acting on the calcium channel calcium channel t type of calcium channel so during scissors what is happening the t type t type of calcium channel the t type of calcium channel their threshold become low during scissors so they open more calcium will go inside it will cause excitation it, it will cause scissors mainly absent scissors this is the mechanism in absent scissors so anti epileptic drugs what what they will do they will inhibit these calcium channel so these calcium channel the t type calcium channel got inhibited it will lead to inhibition and control of scissors give me a thumbs up three drugs act by this mechanism ethosuccinide valproate and zonisamide these are the three drugs act by this mechanism now everyone give me a thumb everyone so here in front of you the four mechanisms fourth one i will write here that is uh, decrease glutamate decrease glutamate and aspartate that is excitatory one the four mechanisms are in front of you this is the fourth one and write the name here felbomate the name of the drug so the four mechanisms are in front of you everyone everyone give me a thumbs up the first mechanism they act on the sodium channel some of the drugs act on sodium channel there are three phases in sodium channel resting active inactive so these drugs will cause the prolongation of inactive stage so the rate of recovery is delayed into the resting so this is their mechanism of action the second there are some drugs which increase gaba the inhibitory neurotransmitter there are some drugs which decrease glutamate and aspartate the excitatory neurotransmitter and there are some drugs which causes inhibition of the t type calcium channel which will lead to inhibition give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up you have to learn the name of the drugs now it's time to learn the name of the drugs so in the first category the sodium one the name of the drugs is phenytoin carbamazepine topiramate learn pct proximal convoluted tubule pct in kidney we have pct dct loop of hanley learn like pct uske alawa valproate to sab mein hota hai valproate and lamotrigine loscamide lamotrigine loscamide and zonisamide so vlz pct vlz these are the seven drugs here right here we have 2b in gaba in increasing gaba the barbiturate benzodiazepine the 2b vigabatrin and valproate and uh, g and t gabapentin and tiagabin so bb vv gt learn the mnemonic right yahan pe pct and vllz learn the mnemonic so yahan pe seven drugs hain yahan pe nearly six drugs hain aur yahan pe the drug which decreases glutamate aspartate only one drug felbamate only one drug felbamate or the drug which causes inhibition of calcium channel three drugs are there ethosuximide valproate and zonisamide 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 right give me a thumbs up everyone so evz so let me try let me try i will try it for you so there are 
फोर कैटेगरीज ऑफ ड्रग इन एंटी एपिलेप्टिक कैटेगरी एंटी एपिलेप्टिक ड्रग्स देर आर फोर टाइप लेट मी टीच यू द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एंटी एपिलेप्टिक ड्रग्स दैट यू टू राइट इन योर एग्जाम देर आर फोर कैटेगरीज ऑफ द ड्रग्स सम ऑफ द ड्रग्स एक्ट ऑन सोडियम चैनल एंड दे कॉज द प्रोलॉन्गेशन ऑफ इन एक्टिव स्टेज ऑफ द सोडियम चैनल so that rate of recovery is delayed and inhibition is less less inhibition uh, is there excitation is less more inhibition is there treatment of system. there are some drugs which increases gaba gaba is inhibitory uh, neurotransmitter and they are increasing the inhibitory neurotransmitter there are some drugs which decreases glutamate and aspartate these are the excitatory neurotransmitter so they decrease excitatory neurotransmitter there are some drugs which act on t type of calcium channel the inhibition of t type of calcium channel so all these mechanisms will ultimately causes inhibition of the brain the less excitation of the brain and treatment of scissors by various mechanisms now it's time to tell the name of the drugs inside each category so in the first category we have pct l v l l v z l l v z so that is the seven drugs here you can see the full form here we are having 2b 2v and uh, last one 2b 2v and gt these are the six drugs here here we are having only one drug falbumate falbumate and here we are having three drugs evz can you say the full form you want me to say the full form it's difficult for me to say the full form to be very frank it's difficult for me but you can say the full form by your own learn them so main drug panitoin carbamazepine topiate topiramide और ये टी टियाबिन टियागाबिन है सो टोपिरामाइट है इधर एंड टिया टियागाबिन है इधर यू हैव टू लर्न लाइक दिस गिव मी अ थम्स अप वन थिंग यू हैव टू नोटिस अ वाल्प्रोएट इज कमिंग इन द थ्री मैकेनिज्म आउट ऑफ द फोर वाल्प्रोएट इज कमिंग इन द ओनली वन ड्रग इज कमिंग एट द थ्री प्लेसेस वाल्प्रोएट यहां पे एक ही ड्रग है फेलबामेट एवरीवन गिव मी अ थम्स अप हियर टू आर बारबिटुरेट्स बेंजोडाइजेपिन वाल्प्रोएट विगाबैट्रिन गाबापेंटिन एंड टियागाबिन दिस इज this is felbamide this is ethosuximide valproate and let's say you know the name of the drug so these are the drugs in front of you i cannot simplify more than this i want a thumbs up from you i want a thumbs up from you so valproate is the only drug which is coming in three mechanism out of the four the three mechanism it is coming you can see valproate coming here also valproate coming where is the valproate here also and valproate coming here also give me a big 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 thumbs up. first give me a thumbs up so that only i will proceed ahead so out of the 10 category this is the second classification i told you based on chemical composition but you don't have to learn this classification which classification you have to learn that i have told you based on mechanism of action does anyone have any problem does anyone have any problem should i say again should i say again or should i proceed ahead give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up so based on mechan now if i ask the mechanism of action of any drug it is crystal clear to you you should know the name of the drugs under each category that is the most important thing you should know right uh okay okay so you should know the name of the drugs you got my point yes or no so the four categories of the drugs are crystal clear to you the drugs which act on sodium channel they cause the prolongation of inactive stage of sodium channel the drugs which increases gaba the inhibitory neurotransmitter the drug which decreases glutamate and aspartate the excitatory neurotransmitter inhibitory ko increase karna hai aur excitatory ko decrease karna hai for treating scissors and the drugs which act on calcium channel inhibition of t type of calcium channel right so various drugs are there here that the mnemonic is pct proximal convoluted tubule l l v z so that is the mnemonic you can say it is phenytoin it is carbamazepine it is topiramate it is lamotrigine it is lac lancosamide it is valproate and z you should know the name of the z z wala mujhe acche se nahi pata hai but you pronounce it clearly i will tell you okay the drug which increases gaba it is bb barbiturate benzodiazepine vv valproate vigabatrin and gt gt gabapentin and tiagabin now please appreciate this t is tiagabin this one and this t was topiramide don't get confused in the two t's right v is same yahan pe v valproate hai yahan pe v valproate hai one v is vigabatrin so valproate is coming both here in the third category only one drug is there felbamate felbamate only one drug is there last category three drugs are there the mnemonic is e l and z e l and z e v z i'm sorry e v and z right 
so ethoxyamide is there valproate is there and what is z let me tell you z z is zonisamide ye do jagah aa raha hai z so valproate is the drug which is coming in three categories so if i say any of these drug now you know its mechanism of action if i ask what is the mechanism of action of phenobarbitol it is a barbiturate this one is also a barbiturate so you know phenytoin phosphenytoin ethoxyamide carbamazepine so benzodiazepine lamotrigine gabapentin topiramide zonisamide Trigabatrin, Tiagabin, Loencosamide, you know mechanism of action of everything I get, Valproate, you, you know of everything. So, is any, any, is there is any drug, the mechanism of action you don't know? If I say any drug, you should know mechanism of action of it. Out of the four, it can be multiple also. Like Valproate is the drug, it is present in three mechanisms. Right, it is present in three mechanisms. Uh, zonisamide is the drug, it is present in two mechanisms. So multiple can be there. So out of the four, which drug is under which mechanism that you should know? Maximum MCQs will be made. Maximum MCQs. Now the only thing which is remaining is the side effect of the main main drugs. Mechanism of action ho gaya, classification ho gaya. In pharmacology, what does you study? You study the classification of the drug. The two classification is in front of you. You know that this classification based on chemical composition there are ten groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't learn this classification. Based on mechanism of action, we have four categories. We already know the four categories. So classification is over from my side. After classification, you should know the mechanism of action of all drugs. You already know. So out of the four mechanism of action, which drug is coming under which category? You already know. The next, you should know the adverse effects of all drugs and uses of all drugs. So of course, you will say, ma'am, use kya hai? All these are anti-epileptic drugs. So the use is epilepsy. But which type of epilepsy? Which drug is useful in which epilepsy? You have to be specific, right? And adverse effect. So I have already told you the classification. I have already told you the mechanism of action. Adverse effects, sab ke bata deti hoon ab. Line se, line se. So let me start the first drug, Phanytoin. Important, important drugs ke not all. So Phanytoin ke adverse effects. So Phanytoin is the only anti-epileptic drug which do not cause CNS depression. Again, a very important MCQ. It do not cause CNS depression. Other drugs, because most of these drugs are, are causing the inhibition of the brain. Na? Inhibition of the brain causes CNS depression. So the side effect is patients feel sleepy all the time. But Phanytoin is a anti-epileptic drug without CNS, uh, without uh, CNS depression, right? There is no increase in the seizure threshold, so the aura is not eliminated, right? The patient still can have aura after taking Phanytoin. Okay, adverse effects. Yaad karo. Let me enumerate the adverse effect, then I will give you a mnemonic for that. If you give a rapid IV injection of Phanytoin to the patient, it can cause arrhythmia, it can cause CNS depression, it can cause cardiovascular collapse. If you give rapid, so give slow IV injection of the phanytoin, the first adverse effect. Second, in the brain, it can cause cerebrovestibular effect. Vestibular, you know, the balancing this effect. So, nystagmus, vertigo, patient ko chakkar aayenge, ataxia, blurring in vision, midriasis, these will be. And some behavioral effects like confusion, hyperactivity, that can be the effect. So, this is due to rapid IV injection, the first side effect. In the CNS, brain, these are the side effects. Gingival hyperplasia. Can you see? Gingiva, the gums. It is a IBQ also. Gum. Yeah, IBQ be here. Which drug causes this side effect? The answer is Phanytoin. So this is gum hyperplasia. Gingival hyperplasia. Gum grows over the tit. You know. So in this diagram, you can see tit ke upar a gaya hai gum. Gum is growing over the tit. Can you see the boundaries of the gum? The gum. Gum yani masude. Wo tit ke upar a gaya hai. Gums hyperplasia. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Everyone give me a thumbs up. What you are saying? You got it. Okay. So gums hyperplasia, gingival hyperplasia or gums hyperplasia. The next is GIT, nausea, vomiting, epigastric pain, anorexia. GIT may yes side effects. Endocrine may. The patient have hyperglycemia. The patient can have diabetes or hyperglycemia if the patient taking phanytoin for a long time. So hyperglycemia and glucosuria can be there. Right. The next is osteomalacia. It decreases calcium absorption and vitamin B metabolism in the blood. So calcium metabolism, calcium ka absorption come hoga intestine. So, so patient bones will become weak. Osteomalacia can be there. Hypoprothrombinemia uh, and hemorrhage in the newborns. In the, so hypoprothrombinemia and hemorrhage in the newborns of the mother receiving phanytoin. If the mother is receiving phanytoin and she is breastfeeding the baby, so the baby can have hemorrhages, right? Megaloblastic anemia can be there because of altered folic acid metabolism. Hypersensitivity can be there. Allergy can be there, blood dyspracia can be there, hirsutism, lymphoadenopathy, fetal malformation. If a pregnant lady take phanytoin, phanytoin is contraindicated in pregnancy. If a pregnant lady 
take panitoin if the lady is having epilepsy from the childhood she is taking panitoin just just for sake she become pregnant suddenly she conceives and she is not uh, leaving panitoin during during pregnancy some other safe anti epileptic drugs should be given not the panitoin if the lady is taking panitoin the fetus will have fetal head and toin syndrome the fetus will have cleft palate the fetus will have hair lip the fetus will have chd slow growth mental deformation mental deformity right so that is the thing that is the thing reduce libido and impotency can be there right so there is a mnemonic for the side effect the mnemonic is phenytoin itself p h e n y t o i n you know the spelling of phenytoin p h e n y phenytoin that is the mnemonic give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up p stands for cytochrome p450 it inhibits fat cytochrome p450 so interactions are there h is hirsutism E is enlarged gum, N is nystagmus, Y is yellow browning of the skin, T is teratogenicity, O is osteomalacia, I is interference with vitamin B12 and folic acid, so causing megaloblastic anemia, N is neuropathies, that is vertigo, ataxia, ataxia and headache. So main side effects are covered, right? So any mnemonic you can learn. There is one more mnemonic. Panitoin P has given MDS frustration. So peripheral neuropathy, hirsutism, gingival hyperplasia, megaloblastic anemia, drug-induced lupus, uh, the allergies, uh, the allergies are there, and fetal head intolerance syndrome. So whatever mnemonic you want to learn, learn. These are the side effects. These are the side effects. And uses it is used in these uh, scissors, not all scissors. Panitoin is the drug of choice in tonic-clonic scissor. It can be given in arrhythmias also, neuralgias also, and paroxysmal uh, nightmares also. So in epilepsy, apart from epilepsy, it is having three other uses. Also. So that is the uses of panitoin. So I am done with panitoin. Now you know the mechanism of action of panitoin, adverse effect of panitoin, and uses of panitoin. Give me a thumbs up, everyone. Give me a thumbs up. The mechanism of action is the sodium channel. It causes the prolongation of inactive stage of the sodium channel. First one, mechanism of action. Adverse effect and mnemonic. You know, uses apart from scissors, it is having three more uses. Give me a thumbs up. You are not giving the thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up first. First, give me a thumbs up. You got it. So the next drug is carbamazepine. Where carbamazepine is coming again in the first mechanism of action. First, what is that? Sodium. It is it is acting on the sodium channel and causing the prolongation. What was the mnemonic sodium channel? Me, which which drugs were Seven drugs were there. P C T. P was phenytoin. C was carbamazepine. L L L L V Z. These were the drugs. Give me a thumbs up. Adverse effects are same as that of phenytoin, except gingival hyperplasia. Gingival hyperplasia and diabetes. These are the not the side effect of carbamazepine. Rest all are same as that of Panitoin, right? Uh, therapeutic uh, indication: it can be used in all scissors except absent scissors. Carbamazepine is not a drug of choice for absent scissors. Apart from it, it can be used in all scissors. Apart from scissors, it can be used in neuralgias, lightning tablet, uh, uh, lightning tabletic pain, and uh, bipolar disorders. It can be used in other disorders also. So we are done with phenytoin. We are done with carbamazepine. The next important is valproate. Valproate. What is the mechanism of action of valproate? Valproate acts by three mechanism. By three mechanism, you know the three mechanism. It causes acts on sodium channel and increases prolongation the inactive stage of sodium. It uh, it uh, increases GABA also and it acts on calcium channel also and causes the inhibition of T type of calcium channel. It is not decreasing glutamate. Baki tino mechanism. It is a broad spectrum anti epileptic. It is a broad spectrum anti. It is having three mechanism of action. You already know. you already know. I am not enumerating it. Everyone, first give me a thumbs up. First, give me a thumbs up. Let me finish the chapter. In the next five minutes, I will finish it. Give me a thumbs up first. Everyone, give me a thumbs up. You got it. So you can see valproate coming here also. Valproate coming here also. Valproate coming here also. In the three mechanism, it is a broad spectrum. So valproate is a broad spectrum anti-epileptic drug, right? Yes or no? What are the adverse effects of valproate? Adverse effects. So these are the adverse effects. I don't have any mnemonic, but you can make it out. Some effects on the GIT: nausea, vomiting, pain, abdominal pain, diarrhea. Non-specific one. CNS: it causes sedation. As all anti-epileptic drug, it also causes uh, sedation. Only one anti-epileptic drug do not cause sedation. The answer is phenytoin. Rest all cause CNS depression. It is also toxic to the liver. Right? Sometimes it may be fatal. Liver toxicity. It also toxic for pancreas. Acute pancreatitis is there. It causes thinning of the hair. It's a very MCQ. It is alopecia. So patient ganja hota hai. Patient become bald because of the alopecia. Patient can become bald. Baldness is there, right? 
इंक्रीज एपेटाइट वेट गेन ये आप जीआईटी में डाल सकते हो एंड टेराटोजेनिसिटी इट विल इंक्रीज द रिस्क ऑफ न्यू न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट डोंट गिव वालफ्रोइ टू एनी प्रेगनेंट लेडी डोंट गिव फैनीटोइन टू अ प्रेगनेंट लेडी राइट द इंडिकेशंस देयर आर मेनी सीजर्स इन व्हिच इट कैन बी यूज्ड इट कैन अपार्ट फ्रॉम सीजर्स इट कैन बी यूज्ड इन बाइपोलर डिसऑर्डर्स न्यूरल जीआर प्रोफाइलैक्सिस ऑफ माइग्रेन एंड टार्गेटेड डिस्काइनेस सो यूज अदर यूजर्स आल्सो सीजर्स के अलावा राइट सीजर्स के अलावा सो आई एम डन I am done. So, if I ask you any of the drug, you know the mechanism of action of that drug. Main main drugs ke adverse effect you already know. Pino barbiton. You already know the adverse effect of phenytoin. You already know the adverse effect of valproate and carbamazepine. Right. Apart from it, you know the uses of these drugs. Uses in which scissors they are used, and apart from scissors, what are the extra scissor uses? Extra epileptic uses of these main main drugs. Give me a thumbs up. The summary is in front of you. the summary is in front of you uses wise you already know i'm not drawing the table again the first line drug learn last thing this last thing you have to learn in the partial scissors the drug of choice is carbamazepine phenytoin or valproic acid in tonic clonic scissors the drug of choice is again carbamazepine phenytoin or valproic acid in myoclonic scissors the drug of choice is valproic acid and carbam clonazepine not phenytoin in absent scissors the drug of choice is valproic acid or ethosuximab you have to learn you have to learn in infantile scissors the drug of choice is acth uh, steroids steroids and vigabetrin in in linox gastroid syndrome in which scissor is a part lamotrigine is the drug of choice scissor of eclampsia magnesium sulfate is the drug of choice and isoniazid induces a drug of choice is uh, paradoxin so you have to learn that i am done with the chapter next chapter is antipsychotic drugs which i am going to teach you tomorrow not today so everyone give me a thumbs up do you have any doubt if you have any doubt in anti epileptic drugs please don't hesitate to ask me anti epileptic drugs anti epileptic drugs i divided anti epileptic drugs into four categories that is the classification i use the first drug they act on sodium channel they cause prolongation of the sodium channel in inactive stage so they cause inhibition of the brain second drug they increases gaba the inhibitory neurotransmitter the third drug they decreases glutamate the excitatory neurotransmitter so you have to increase the inhibitory neurotransmitter or you have to decrease the excitatory neurotransmitter the fourth drug they act on calcium channel in the brain on the neurons which are t type calcium channels you should know the drugs the various names of the drugs under each category so here the drugs are pct proximal convoluted tubule llvz you should know the name of drugs here the name of the drugs are 2b 2b and gt right and here the name of drug is only one f and here the name of the drug is 3 evz everyone give me a thumbs up you want me to say the full forms or you already know the full forms so you should notice one thing valproate is coming in three categories out of the four and three categories valproate is coming in in the three categories the valproate is coming right so here it is phenytoin carbamazepine topiramate lamitrigen lami lamoclone valproate and z z is there right Uh, and here it is barbiturate benzodiazepine valproate vigabatrin gabapentin and this t is tiagabin tiagabin this f is um this f is felbamide right so these are the drugs you should say it pronounce it again and again that is the mechanism of action main main drugs ka phenytoin ka carbamazepine ka and uh, valproate ka adverse effect ke mnemonic i have already given you and the users first line drug which is the first line drug in tonic clonic which is the first line drug in absent scissors which is the first line drug in myoclonic scissors which is the first line drug in infantile scissors that you should know at the tip of your tongue among these you should know the list everyone give me a thumbs up if you see from my notes 100% mcqs from your previous year question paper in any exam whether you talk mcqs previous year question paper any exam neat pg FMGE or INICT or before INICT we have AIMS we have JIPMER we have uh, PGI so any exam if you see the bundle of hundred questions you will be able to solve all of them so it is your homework today so after listening my lecture please try solving MCQs of anti Parkinson's drug also and anti epileptic drugs also today I taught you both chapters the most difficult chapters on CNS thank you very much for being with me I would like to stop here before that I am having few announcements for you let me do those announcements then you people can go then you people can go do you want notes of these 
If you want notes of these, it is available on the platform. You have to come, you have to install an Academy Learners app if you want my notes and other free lectures like this, right? Don't forget to give your feedback for this lecture. If you have learned, don't click, don't forget to click on the like button before leaving and subscribe our YouTube channel. Write the feedback. What other topics you want in pharmacology? Write the name of the topics in free classes. I will take those topics, the free topics for you in pharmacology. So currently I'm teaching you CNS. After that, what do you want? Right. The next class is tomorrow. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. in the morning, I will take four classes. One at 9, one at 10, one at 11.15 and one at 12.30. Back to back four classes are there. The free classes, all classes are free classes. So tomorrow I am going to teach you antipsychotic drugs here. Skeletal muscle relaxants here. Skeletal muscle relax. You know, and after that if time allows local anesthesia. So after central nervous system, I am going to start the peripheral nervous system. So in antipsychotic, I will teach you antidepressants also and anti-mania drugs also. Everyone give me a thumbs up. That is my free classes tomorrow. So please don't forget to join me tomorrow morning 9 a.m. on the YouTube for antipsychotic drugs. Right? Uh, yeah. So what you have to do basically, go to uh, Play Store. If you have not installed the app yet now, go to the Play Store, install Unacademy Learners app. Learners app from the Play Store. After installing, select the goal as need PG need pg category select the goal as need pg category in that search my name under educators my name is dr priyanka sachdev see the spelling in the background dr priyanka sachdev search my name under need pg category educators you will find my name along with my name you will find a link my profile link just click on the link and follow my profile link. follow my once you follow my profile link you will see a list of more than 500 free recordings these are the list of 500 free recordings of which subject? Multiple subjects. Many recordings are of pathology, pharmacology, microbiology, PSM, medicine, many subjects, free recordings. All of them are my lectures only. They are available. You can click on the topic of your choice which you want to listen. Notes of all the topics in the form of the PDF is available on the platform. So please have a look. Go on the my profile link. Click on my profile link to see the list of the uh, classes till date I have taken free. So more than 500 classes I have taken free for the students. All the important topics are there. The complete patho, complete pharma, micro, PSM, many important topics of the medicine. They are available for free. The only thing you have to install the app, go to need PG category, search my name, Dr. Priyanka Sachdev. Follow my profile link to see this list. Right. Click on any, any, any of the link any of the class which you want to listen it is free it is free you can listen it for free the only thing you will ask a code to watch the class if you are watching it for the first time code is my surname Sachdev 10 what is the code the code is my surname it is Sachdev S-A-C-H-D-E-V Sachdev 10 is the code so don't forget the code Distribute this code to your seniors, juniors, batchmates, intern, all the magic codes throughout the globe, not only in India. Distribute this code to everyone. Anyone can unlock any free class using this code, code on an academy. So please use this code judiciously. Distribute it to all magic codes, all MBBS and BDS students to whom these lectures are useful. So everyone will get benefit of the free knowledge which is flowing on an academy, right? So please use this code judiciously. Thank you very much for being with me. The code is Sachdev 10, Sachdev 10. So you can imagine the free classes are so impressive, so knowledgeable. So how the paid subscription of an academy will work? In paid subscription, we will help you to cover all 19 subjects at one platform. All 19 subjects, complete coverage, all under one roof, right? All 19 subjects. So paid subscriptions are of three types. The plus subscription in which you will get only an academy. In iconic along with an academy, you will get prep letter as a combination. And light subscription, you will get only test series. So the various plans, duration, prices are in front of you. You can select the plan of your choice. You want plus, iconic or light, it's your choice. You can see the price you want for two months or for four years, it's your choice. Minimum is two months, maximum is four years. So longer the plan, cheaper it is. If you are a first prof, second prof, student, go with a longer plan, four years, three years. It is cost effective for you. Per month wise, it is very less. But it's your choice. If you want to take only a small plan, plan two months, it's your choice. Take it, take it, have a look. You can always extend the plan. So whatever plan you are taking, you want a discount on that. If you want a discount on that, before payment, apply my code, the same code, Sachdev Tan. S-A-C-H-D-E-V, Sachdev Tan. 
प्लीज अप्लाई दिस कोड बिफोर पेमेंट you will get maximum discount the team will give you maximum discount so don't forget the code so the summary is that the code is useful for all students in the world all medical students such dev 10 those who want to watch the only free classes on an academy or those who want to take the paid subscription plus iconic or light subscription on an academy the one who want to watch only free classes on an academy they can use this code to unlock the free classes to unlock the free classes and the one who want to take the paid subscription they can use the code before payment to get the discount so please today only put this code on your batch groups and all the medicos you know in your contact thank you very much see you all in the next class which is tomorrow morning 9 am in the morning thank you very much bye bye study hard see you back bye bye i am ending this lecture.